okay so let's add a swap file and then we're going to install virtual main after that so let's just check if we do have now please note that there's something wrong with my site and uh, when i add two hyphens it does that okay so this here so this is how it's supposed to be okay like in this in this screenshot so make sure that you note that any place where there are two hyphens you will get something like that so that is wrong so let's first of all just see if we do have a swap file on our on our vps so sudo swap on we're going to create a swap file sudo swap on and then dash dash show so when you get the result like that let me just do it again when you get the result no result that means that there is no swap file if there was one it would have shown you the swap file now let's create a swap file and uh, i'm just going to give it the same names because i don't want to retype or edit anything and i'm just going to also make it 2gb you can make it 3gb 4gb if you want to it doesn't it depends on what you want right now but don't make it too big if your memory is low 2gb is okay for me so i'm going to use that and now we need to change permissions for the swap for the swap file that you've created so this is the name of the file this is the name of the swap file you can change the name if you want to to use whatever name you want to you can even store it somewhere else if you want to okay you can see this is currently being stored under root under the root directory if you want to change it you can change it so i'm going to copy that and this just changes permissions for that file so that it has root level permissions and then once we do that this is going to make it a swap file and this is going to turn the swap on so what i can do is i can just copy the entire thing as i said i don't want to copy i don't want to edit anything that's why i'm just using the same name and that's going to save me time so i'm pasting that in there and this is going to turn the swap on and you can see now we do have a swap file for 2gb so right now if i do sudo swap on show it's going to show you that we have we have a swap file called my swap file and the size is 2gb so the next step is so right now if you were to restart the system it's not going to recognize that swap file so what i need to do again is i will just need to add it into the fs tab into the fs tab file and in this file it lists the memory for the system so that when the system starts it doesn't have to it doesn't have to look for anything everything is already listed here so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to put that in there so instead of this file we need to we need to open that file and then we need to put this in there so if you change the name of the file or the location of the file make sure that you update yours as you need to so just scroll down okay and once you get here you can just paste it and once you do that you can do Control x y enter and that's going to save the changes and now you don't need to do anything else if you do free dash h to see the memory that you have you can see we do have memory our physical memory of 1.9 gigs and we have the swap memory of that okay so that's that and that's pretty much it for this in the next video let's see how we can install how we can install virtual main and that's the last thing that we need to do we're going to install the lamp stack of virtual main and once we do that we're going to see how we can run WordPress in virtual main and as I said we will be using nginx so I'll see you in that one